So this is where we are in the story. God made a perfect world. People messed it up, but God had a plan to rescue them. He sent his son, Jesus, to save everybody. So we could be with him. And to save us, Jesus had to beat death. After he did that, he went to heaven. But first he told his friends, the disciples, to wait. Because he was going to send them a gift, the Holy Spirit. So they waited. Even when there was a giant party going on outside, which was called Pentecost, with people from all over the world. The disciples stayed together inside, waiting. <sighs> Suddenly there was a loud noise, like a really strong wind. It must have been pretty loud, because lots of people came to see what was going on. Whoosh! Then fire came down from heaven and landed on top of people's heads. This wasn't like the fire we're used to. It didn't burn them. This fire was way cooler. See what we did there? The disciples started speaking different languages. Languages they didn't even know. Or hadn't until then. They spoke Greek, Hebrew, Arabic, all sorts of languages. It was a miracle. A lot of people were amazed. Some were a little confused. And some didn't know what to think. But the disciples knew it was a special day. A guy named Peter spoke up. He reminded the crowd of who Jesus was. And God's rescue plan for them. And lots and lots and lots of people believed. Anyone who believes in Jesus has the Holy Spirit. I believe. 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 God had given them the Holy Spirit. And we can have the Holy Spirit too. But that's not the end of the story.